Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I uh, wanted to talk about One UI 7.0 update that we're hoping to get uh, fairly soon. I know that we're still waiting on the 6.1 for some of the older Galaxy phones, but Android 15 is right around the corner. So let's go ahead and talk about what some of those new features are and if Samsung will bring those over to One UI 7.0. Okay, so let's start with uh, sensitive notifications. So with Android 15, they're going to be adding a new feature that is going to fix, um, hopefully fix the issue with the two-factor authentication or the one-time passwords that we receive. And what they'll be doing is they'll be adding a new notification, uh, sensitive notification screen that will allow us to either copy or uh, mark the notification as red. It will also um, hopefully prevent uh, any Android malicious apps from receiving that sensitive information. So that's something that'll be really cool to see uh, for those of us that get a lot of the two-factor authentications or one-time password uh, texts, uh, which I get those all the time. Um, so really looking forward to seeing how Samsung is going to incorporate that into One UI 7.0. Uh, next up is the Bluetooth pop-up. Uh, so there is a Bluetooth pop-up dialog that um, they'll be adding. So what'll happen is right now when we go to Bluetooth, so if we go ahead and hold down on Bluetooth, this is kind of the pop-up window that we get here. We'll be seeing a new window that comes up that will allow us to disconnect specific devices right from that screen. So what I mean by that is that you'll have that toggle in the quick settings. Instead of having to long press to do this, you'll swipe down and then we'll have in there a new Bluetooth option to disable individual Bluetooth devices. So a good example of the Bluetooth uh, toggle would be if you have, uh, let's say earbuds, for instance, I have my uh, Pixel Bud Pros that I have paired to several different devices. So I could actually go in and there'll be a quick tile setting in here that allows you to toggle the individual connections on and off um, as needed instead of just leaving it on the whole time. Another new feature that Android 15 brings is a universal toggle for your keyboard vibration control. And so what that'll look like is if we um, go ahead and go into our settings and we go to sounds and vibrations, there will now be an option in here to turn on or off or keyboard, which right now now we don't have a keyboard option in here. So that'll be something nice to see baked in to One UI 7.0. So you'll be able to toggle on and off those keyboard vibrations. Next, we'll go ahead and talk about the notification cooldown. So Android 15 is going to bring what's called a notification cooldown where you'll be able to have a pop-up that will show up as we do now where we can um, snooze a notification, but this will allow us to apply a cooldown to either all notifications to conversations or we can also tell it not to uh, while notification cooldown is on. So there'll be a pop-up that we'll see here and then you'll be able to toggle those on and off. And what this will do is it can be found, it'll be found in our notification settings. So if we go in here to notifications, we'll have an option in here that says notification cooldown. And what that will do is it's gonna lower the volume of the notification so that you're not getting bombarded with tons of notifications. If you have social media and email and text messages. It'll allow you to not get overwhelmed uh, with so many notifications, which I'm really looking forward to. If you're like me and you get a lot of notifications, this will be a welcome addition to Android 15. Okay, next up, let's go ahead and talk about the app archiving, which is going to be done through the settings. So if you have an iPhone or, you know, uh, if you've used iOS, it has a feature that lets you offload your application so that you can get back some of the storage. Each of those apps takes up storage on your phone. So with the uh, Android 15, this will be hopefully baked in uh, and it'll get implemented into One UI 7.0. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to archive those apps on your phone to regain some of that storage space. So this will be nice to see in the One UI 7.0 release and how Samsung is going to include that. So with the app, 
app archiving, how that's going to work is if you go into an application, so let's just go ahead and let's go into Google Chrome here. If we go into the information, so we're in the app information here. And what we should see now is we're going to see a toggle that's going to allow us to offload or it will actually have a archive button or restore button. So that way you can archive that app that you haven't been using for a while. It'll keep all of your data there so you're not wiping everything out, any history that you have. And then you can hit that restore button. And when we hit the restore button, it'll bring the app back with all of the data. So that's going to be nice to have, especially if you need to save some space on your device. Another feature that's coming to Android 15 and hopefully Samsung is going to um, incorporate this into the One UI 7.0 release is the battery health percentage. So if you've ever seen on an iPhone, if you go into the battery, it will actually tell you what the lifespan of that battery is in a percentage. And so what Android 15 is going to do is it's going to actually have that baked in. So when we go into our settings, we go to our battery, there should be an option in here. Where we're going to actually be able to see our battery life, our battery health overall um, since we've gotten the device. So looking forward to seeing that right now. We just have that show battery percentage here, which we can toggle on and off. And that just shows the battery percentage up here. But what this is going to do is it'll have information in here. So right now we have battery level. It shows 56%. We should see something in here that actually has battery health. And that's going to tell us um, overall how our battery is doing. So another cool feature that Android 15 is bringing is what's called power powered off finding API and what that's going to do is it's supposed to allow you to find devices even when they're powered off. So it uses the find my device network. So Samsung has something similar uh, where you can go in and you can use smart things to track devices. The problem is, is if they're turned off, you can't find those. So what's going to happen is with the new powered off finding API, it's going to allow the device, even though it's turned off, to be able to be located. So if you end up losing your Bluetooth ear earbuds, you forget where you left your phone, you'll be able to actually go into that Find My app and look for your device even though it's powered off. So that's going to be something great to see in Android 15. Okay, let's talk about the next feature, which is the voice activation feature for digital assistants. So what this is going to allow you to do is to have multiple digital assistants on your Samsung Galaxy device. So right now I have the um, Google Assistant, there's Bixby. If you wanted to have ChatGPT, for instance, um, what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to use a wake word as we would do if we were using the Google Assistant. This was something that we had with Android, I believe it was Android 12, and then the feature, or I'm sorry, Android 11, and then Android 12, it was actually removed. So what this feature is going to to do is it's hopefully going to bring back the functionality to let you use other digital assistants like chat GPT or Amazon Alexa or any of those assistants using a wake word even when the screen is turned off. So that'll be nice if you use other digital assistants besides the one that comes on your Samsung Galaxy device which is Bixby. Okay so next feature is private space. So private space is much like what we have now on our Galaxy devices which is the Samsung secure folder going to be baked right into Android 15. And so what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to presumably hide your apps or data on your phone, which we can already do now on our Samsung Galaxy devices. So this is something we already have. What's going to be nice about the private space is it doesn't need additional third party apps to hide other apps on your Android phone. So Right now on the Galaxy devices, we have our secure folder option. Once Android 15 is released, essentially we wouldn't need the Samsung secure folder. It would be baked right into Android 15 uh, and would allow you to hide those apps and your data on your phone. Take a look at the secure folder. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and dive into our My Files. And let me just find a document here. So if I wanted to say, take this document, I can go ahead and go to more and then I can move it to a secure folder. And so this is where you can go in and set up your secure folder. Go ahead and do that. It's going to create the secure folder and then you can move any of your apps and data information into this secure folder. I believe once it's done, we'll take a look at it, but I believe you can actually unlock it and lock it just your fingerprint. So we'll give that just a minute to set up. But that's going to be baked right into Android 15 when that releases. At least that's what we know so far. Okay, so 
yeah, so to set up the secure folder, you can have a pin, a password, a pattern, and then we also have our fingerprints. So let me go ahead and just put in a pin here real quick. Okay, so now I've got that and it went ahead and moved that file over. So now that file is no longer seen uh, my regular my files. So if I wanted to actually see this, I would actually have to go into my secure folder. Okay, so we're opening up the secure folder. I'm going to use my fingerprint there. And so inside the secure folder, we can see that we have camera, internet, contacts, files, gallery, calendar, and notes. So these are some of the things that you can add into your secure folder. So for instance, uh, one of the files that I showed earlier, if we go into files and we go to documents, you'll see that I have these two documents in here that are no longer seen in the my file. So if we go into my files, you'll see that they're no longer here. So those have been moved over. So I'm interested to see how that's going to work on Android 15. So uh, we'll see what that brings for us. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for the One UI 7.0, uh, what we're hoping to see from Samsung. Let me know in the comments below if you're looking forward to One UI 7.0 and if you're devices running the 6.1 or 6.0. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel, that way you won't miss any of our updates. Appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.